Leos have the Two of Wands, the Death card, and the Six of Cups. So you already know someone's coming in trying to resurrect this deceased relationship. This relationship is, is dead and gone. This relationship is finished. But the thing about it is, is that, you know, this relationship, however, this person that you didn't necessarily stay with thinks that they could salvage and resurrect the relationship, okay? Um, the Page of Swords and the Empress represents they're still on the same time frame. They're still doing the same stuff, though, Leo. They're still doing the same stuff. They're on their high horse. They think that, you know, they're too good for everybody. And they're coming from the perspective still that they're giving you a try. They're giving you another try. But you, Leo's already had that chance. You, Leo's already had that try. You, Leo's realize that these people were not a very good match for you. You stopped talking to them in the first place. So now the thing is that the Five of Cups <laughs> and the High Priestess represent, but they know deep, the Five of Cups, they know deep down inside, they really messed up with a lot of you Leos and they made themselves look real stupid because that high horse stuff, that, that high horse stuff, right? Perfect example. That high horse stuff of thinking that, you know, you're standing on people's shoulders while at the same time acting like you're so much better than them but you're getting all of your, your your power because people give you power, that's a dub. That whole ideology is played out. You know, you got to get it out of the mud. You got to create respect, right? Natural, organic respect from what you contribute, right? The value that you contribute, that you bring. So the Five of Cups represents, you know, with you, Leos, they just can't seem to pull their head out because for you, they, they, they're trying to, you know, hold up this, this narrative while at the same time trying to woo you on the low, trying to get you back. And, and, a lot, and the thing is that they, they don't want to let go of either, but they're going to have to because life doesn't work like that. Because the High Priestess and the Three of Pentacles is about because you Leos don't want to have anything to do with a person that is stuck up you know like y'all remember you and i'm not trying to be disrespectful but you leos remember how you a lot of you leos used to be stuck up right because you know a lot of you used to be hard to deal with but then a lot of y'all started to listen to my readings and you started to actually listen to the stuff that i was i was saying to you now a lot of you leos give me some you know a lot of y'all and a couple of other zodiac signs, y'all give me the most views. Why? Because y'all are actually listening to what I'm saying to you instead of getting upset about it. And that's what I'm saying. Because the high priestess and the three of pentacles is about how that's that's what I'm talking about. The idea that you, <laughs> the zodiac signs change. You Leos are not trying to look for attention like that. It, it's just that these people that have come, that tried to come back, that are trying to come back, they're looking for attention. They're straddling the fence. They're trying to, on one hand, act like they are high class, fly. They don't need you. Well, at the same time, on the low, they're like, hey, Leo, what you doing? You doing all right? It's like, yo, make up your mind, yo. Real talk. Make up, no, real talk. Make up your mind. No slang. Make up your mind because. You don't make any sense. How are you gonna insult somebody and then go on the low and ask for forgiveness from them? The Ten of Swords and, the, and the, uh, the King of Cups is about how, since that's the case, the Ten of Swords and the King of Cups is really about you, uh, Leos, also understanding that, um, yeah, you're just leaving them like that. You know, you're not even gonna say anything to them. A lot of you Leos are just gonna like li let them contact you but you're not really going to say anything to them because again you have other people for you to interact with so let's clarify that's crazy let's clarify the king of cups six of wands four of wands three of swords two of wands right this is a situation for you leos where six of wands four of wands yeah, because you want something real with somebody. And these people are not going to offer you that. 
They don't, they don't want to embrace who they actually are. They don't know who they are. They don't want to embrace it. They know who they are, but they don't want to embrace it. They want to act like they, they, they gangster in the street or they, or they are boss. So they tell you what to do on either side. They tell you what to do. But then on the low, it's like they're trying to, you know, they don't want people to know, you know, they be, they be calling you all sorts of sweet nicknames and stuff. So the Three of Swords and the Two of Wands is about how, so a lot of you Leos understood that that's, that's a relationship that you can't go back to because you remember how it broke your heart the first time. So that's pretty much it. Peace.